In today's video, I'll show you how to create different kinds of realistic portraits using the SDXL 1.0 model in Comfy UI. At first glance, the Comfy UI might look a little daunting as compared to something simpler like Midjourney or Bing Image Creator or even Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11. But trust me, this is a much better process than what I have been using earlier. So I'll go through all different parts of this UI and explain which is used for what. I won't go into too much technical details. I will kind of explain everything highly level so that you guys understand what we're doing in the interface and how we are generating the image. First, we have the positive prompt section where we write our actual prompt that we are trying to use for text to image generation. Next, we have the negative prompt section where we write the negative keywords that represents what we don't want. You can also use textual inversions here. You just have to write down the name of the textual inversion or the embedding file. Then we have the image size node. As the name suggests, we can change the image width and height here and increase the batch size then we have checkpoint node so this one loads the checkpoint for sdxl we use two different checkpoint models first one is the base model second one is the refiner model this one right here as you can see sdxl base 1.0 safe tensor this node is used for the base checkpoint model here we have the refiner checkpoint model one has the sdxl refiner 1.0 next we have the text encoders after that we have samplers one sampler for the base model one sampler for the refiner model under the samplers you see the seed number control after generate lets you select do you want to use a fixed seed a random seed or incremental or decremental seed numbers next we have steps with this you can set the parameter for the sampler how many steps you want to use for the base model after that we have the cfg scale the cfg scale determines how much of the prompt will influence actual image. The lower the number, more creative stable diffusion will get. The higher the number, the more it will stick to the positive prompt. Usually I try something between 6 to 10. Um, you can try different numbers and variations. After that we have sampler name and scheduler. These two are for setting up the sampling method. So try different combinations of the DPM sampler name and schedulers. There is no hard and fast rule for this. It's based on what kind of style you're trying to achieve. Finally, we have the denoise. The sampler for the base model, I usually keep it one. And for the refiner model, which works like image to image, basically it refines the image that is generated by the base model. I leave the denoise at 0.25. Result without refiner and result with refiner. So in the result without refiner section, we get the render from the base model. Result with refiner model, we get the render from the refiner model. And then we have this control panel where we can queue prompt, basically means generate under extra options. We can increase the batch count over here. Save, load, refresh. These are for the workflow. I'm using a basic workflow that I found from a very good YouTube channel called SE Courses. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Check out his videos. I learned a lot from his videos. In this chapter, I'm going to show how to create realistic portraits of humans. For this one, my idea is to create portraits of people. First, I will start with a simple prompt. A portrait of a man. And in negative prompt, I'll write down a series of keywords that I don't want to see in the generated image. You can copy this if you want. I'll put this in the description below as well. And this is just an example how you can write keywords for negative prompts. I'll also show you how to use embeddings or textual inversions. So this is what SDXL has generated. It really doesn't look like a photo of a person, but actually a portrait painting of a person. So to fix that, I will add raw photo. Let's see how it turns out this time. As you can see, it came out really nice this time. Because I added the keyword raw photo in my prompt, that's why it generated a raw photo. Now if I want to define how I want the man to look like, what's his age, what's his ethnicity, what is he wearing, I can define that. This time I'll write portrait of a 25 year old Mexican man, comma, wearing a black hoodie. As you can see, SDXL has generated a portrait of a 25-year-old Mexican man wearing a black hoodie. Now, he looks a little grumpy. Let's make him smile. If I want to keep the similar features, what I can do here under the sampler, I can change the seed number from random to fixed. Same for the refiner sampler. As you can see, we have a smiling Mexican man wearing a black hoodie looking at the camera. Because we fixed the seed number, that's why Table Diffusion tried to keep similar aesthetics. Now, if we want to define where is he standing, what's the background? It's in a city, it's an interior scene, or our exterior scene, you can always change that by adding more stuff to the prompt. Let's do a stock photo. Stock photo, medium, 
close up shot of an African American nurse smiling at the camera and I'll add a background this time so I'll say hospital interior scene or you can write hospital interior in the background all right this came out pretty nice so we know how to create stock photos now if you want to create stock photo of an engineer and maybe he's from Bangladesh I'll write stock photo medium shot of a Bangladeshi engineer I'll put something in his hand so I'll say holding a blueprint smiling at the camera and instead of hospital interior I will write construction site in the background and instead of writing a long negative prompt just write bad dream comma unrealistic dream if I just write those keywords stable diffusion will call the textual inversion and include that in my prompt let's see how it looks this time All right this one came out pretty good enough with the stock photos let's try something a little more creative magazine cover photo studio portrait of an Italian chef smiling at the camera a gourmet bakery in the background now I can add how I want the lighting to so if I don't mention the lighting it usually randomizes it most of the time it's usually natural lighting but if I say volumetric studio lighting hopefully it will change the style of the lighting of for this photo into a volumetric studio style lighting let's see how it comes out his eyes are a little crooked in this one I can definitely fix that in post table decision cleverly hit his hands so that <laughs> now let's try a fashion photo for this one I will write editorial fashion photography full body shot of a beautiful Spanish female model walking down the runway fashion show style set bright and bold colors flash photography out of focus background I think this came out decent definitely we could use some more detail on the face we can do that with in painting I'll cover that in another chapter how to in paint and fix the problems in your image for now we'll leave it to this let's try a fantasy style portrait I'll write fantasy style photo manipulation medium portrait of a solar punk priestess cosplayer out of focus background all right soft glow backlit and bouquet and for the negative prompt I'll just write text embeddings add dream artistic dream wow this came out really nice look at the details details of the materials the aesthetics of the background the lighting the golden hour style shot I always thought that this kind of photos are usually possible with mid journey it might be very difficult to produce something like this with table diffusion but now with SDXL this is simply amazing the details this time instead of solar punk priestess we'll do a cyberpunk soldier fantasy style photo manipulation I'll write sci-fi cyberpunk style photo manipulation medium portrait of a cyberpunk soldier wearing a mech suit holding a firearm a futuristic firearm and I'll add anamorphic lens flare action um, what else cyberpunk city scape in the background skyscrapers night city scene well, skyscraper anyways all right let's try this one last time okay this one looks pretty good right let's open this wow look at the details firearm the, fi the fingers are definitely mangled over here but the rest of the stuff looks really decent I love how the skyscrapers and the bouquet and the out of focus thing looks in the background 
Uh, we don't see any Anamorph Cleanse player as I asked for, but I'll still take it. Um, there's some part of the glass missing on this side, but hey, it's can't always expect the results to be super perfect. The still version one of Stable Diffusion XL. These principles will work for any kind of image generation platform. So for example, if you're using Midjourney or Adobe Firefly or Being Image Creator, try using these prompts with a little variation if you need to and see how your results come out. Hopefully you'll get amazing results with this kind of prompts. And I would love to see what you guys create. Tag me in your posts, post it on Instagram or Facebook and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.